everyone. I am Lo Xingyi. I am Zhang Xin. And I'm Qin Qian Yin. We are I Xing from Penang Chinese Girls High School. In this video, a three stage approach is proposed to achieve a pandemic resilient community. 1. Prevention. An automated fogging machine using inflammable sanitizer that is environmental friendly is designed for outdoor sterilization. The vapor kills bacteria and viruses by disintegrating the antigens, causing the cells to rupture within minutes. With the help of an aerodynamic airflow design inside the machine and a rotating base, the area of coverage can reach up to 2 km square. Next, Air conditioners and air purifiers with IFT filter are installed to ensure good air ventilation indoors. A UV light sterilizer that is controlled by an infrared sensor which switches it on during the absence of the inhabitants is used as well. The sensor is particularly vital to protect the residents from the carcinogenic properties of the UV light. Lastly, a mask is modified using biodegradable coffee ground fiber and IFT filter to increase the user's comfort and breathability. The masks are affordable and easy to manufacture to satisfy large demands in the community. 2. Response To enable efficient quarantine, temporary shelters made of corrugated cardboard can be used. Easy to build with fire and waterproof as well as environmental friendly properties, the shelter can isolate the infected. Eco cooler windows provide good air ventilation and reduces the temperature of the shelter. Next, tracking can be done with wristbands containing vital information of the citizens. With a microchip inside, one scan can record the individual's location along with their personal information quickly. 3. Recovery To reduce public fear, the media can share accurate info and dispel rumors. Regarding basic necessities, home gardens should be encouraged along with supplementary feeding centers for those in need. A mobile kitchen is introduced as a solution. Lastly, in light of the economic recovery, the government can create schemes such as BPN to help the poor and facilitate business activities. Concerning the work and education of the public, network facilities should be enhanced by installing stable internet connections throughout the nation. The war against the pandemic is a long-term fight, but if we persevere, we can achieve a pandemic-resilient community soon. Stay home, safe lives!